Is it just me or is that the Doge meme right there? Bro, we got the Doge meme in the car. In the in the fucking smoke. This is a monumental moment right here. Doge has appeared from the afterlife. That is actually kind of crazy. I'm not the only one that sees it, right? Like at the very least it looks like a dog. We live in an age where if you fail, you're probably going to outlive if you don't. Failing is the best thing that can ever happen to you to some extent. You will be immortalized on the internet as the clown that failed in this or this instance, you know? Trust me, there's times to this day where me and my boys bring up, you know, fails of, of cars that we've seen like years ago. And we're just like, oh, you remember when that happened? Yeah, man. And we don't we don't talk about the guy that successfully drifted out of the car meet just the guys that crashed and today we're going to be taking a look at some clowns who ended up immortalized on the internet for doing just that failing by the way guys i'm just oh i got my new car i got it and you guys are gonna love it i can't wait to show you guys i'm not gonna spoil anything it's oh just subscribe you're gonna want to see this just subscribe anyways if you've seen any clips tag my instagram at underscore underscore drew peacock let's go ahead and dive right in notes hi Share. Nope. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, moving on. First clip. It says just wait for it, so we'll do just that. Get out of Oh no. Fuck. Um. Fuck. How do you even get out of this situation? First of all, why would you try to get yourself in this situation? But secondly, how do you get it out? This is like super gluing your penis into a hooker. You're in a sticky situation, my friends, and the wife is calling, so you better figure it out quick. Dude, I honestly don't know. Like, this is the best case, worst case scenario, because this thing could have raw dogged the shit out of his fender and that would have been painful in itself look at that oh it was about to just slide right in no lubrication but instead instead i mean it just eased its way in it took its it took him out to dinner first you know made a, a good impression but how do you get out of that seriously what are your guys's like proposals okay we could take off the fender which i mean there might be hardware behind this <laughs> cement pipe uh in that case that's not happening you could maybe jack up the vehicle, but using what? You know, like the the, the, the dirt? No, I don't think so. It's too uneven. It's not happening. Full send it. That might happen. Uh, cut down the cement beam. That's probably your best case scenario. But, dude, this is a shitty situation to be in, all things considered. And, uh, yeah, we're going to remember this clip for quite some time. Fuck. Yeah, that would be my, uh, you know, honest feelings, too, right after that happened. So close. Yet so far, homeboy managed to curb his wheel on something that is three feet off of the road. That's pretty impressive. I'm not going to lie. It's funny because at this moment, he thought that he was like probably breaking it or something. And he's like, oh, this isn't so bad. And then stuck for life. Anyways, propose your best ideas down below. Maybe he should disassemble the truck completely and reassemble it on the road. Next clip. R.I.P. Beamer. There's too many of those on the road anyways. Add a boy. Way to add some positive camber to that sweet ride. Mommy and daddy are sure going to love what you did to their nice ride. Yeah, he's going to have fun taking an Uber to work in the morning. Do people steal BMWs? Like, do you think this is a stolen car, guys? Or do you guys think that this is some just moron that, it, that thinks he's, I don't know, making a name for himself in the streets? The only name you're making for yourself is Dumb Fuck McGee. You got to be a Dumb Fuck McGee to do that to your car. Not only, uh, you know, take it to a pit, especially a nice car. What is this, an M240i? Like, come on, man. You're swinging the M240i and you're smacking the wheel? Come on. Clown alert. Clown alert. Somebody get this guy a red nose and an afro, but let's make it out of pubic hairs because he's a fucking stinky little clown. Love seeing people purposely destroy their cars for our entertainment. That's exactly why we're looking at that clip. It's entertaining as fuck watching people destroy their cars. And that's one less takeover dipshit that's... Uh, he's probably not going to reproduce after this. Thank God, because this clip is going to live forever. 
Next clip. Why do people even do this? I don't even get it. Glowing Nissan 350Z. Whatever. Talk about a dumb fuck. Do you know how much he has to be revving his car for his exhaust pipe in its entirety to be glowing? My 1,000 horsepower Supra, before it uh, deleted itself from the car scene, it will be back, don't worry, I'm working on that. Its headers would glow, sure, when it was doing a full pull on the dyno, yeah, it would glow a little bit. But the full exhaust system? I don't think so. This, this guy's got to be making like 15,000 horsepower for this, am I right, guys? Anyways, it seems like these VQs are only good for two things. Making people deaf doing this lame shit, or takeovers. It seems like that's all they're good for. Clean title, never abused. Uh, I know what I have. 15k, come get it. It's yours, man. It's a, it's a, it's a crazy car, bro. Gets all the bitches wet. It's funny because people literally be doing shit like this, and their car doesn't catch fire, but my car catches fire. Is it just me, or is that the Doge meme right there, bro? We got the Doge meme in the car, in the, in the fucking smoke. This is a monumental moment right here, Doge has appeared from the afterlife that is actually kind of crazy i'm not the only one that sees it right like at the very least it looks like a dog who's a good puppy who's a good puppy that's crazy all right bye dog anyways yeah the dog made it worth it I want, uh, dude that's a one in a million opportunity I, that was not scripted i couldn't do that again even if i wanted to yeah i can't do it again anyways this guy's stupid we can all agree on that pov camry owner know how to leave a meet and not crash all right let's see him full send this camry gotta love it oh my lord you gotta love that man wide open throttle 180 horsepower full send down the road uh, he might he might have maybe broke loose maybe a little bit but I'd bet money that he actually didn't. I'm going to mute it because I think there's background music playing. I don't want to risk it, guys. I need that money. This car I bought is not cheap. Anyways, come on, bro. Like, are people really recording Camry's leave car meets? Like, I do that ironically, right? Like, I do that to show you guys how lame car meets are. But this dude wrapped his Camry in some crazy Camry livery and uh full sense it out of out of car meets i mean good good on him for not crashing i would be happy to not see people crash but it's a front wheel drive camera guys like i i don't think you can lose control and crash these even if you tried you could rip the tires off this thing and just be on steel wheels and i still don't think you would be able to break loose it, it's it's a camry okay All right, we're looking at the same car here correct the camry ain't nobody ever see yo the camry's leaving fuck i want to get a clip of it leaving I need, I need to get a clip of that exhaust. Ain't nobody running over for the Camry. Let's just say that. Seems like the, the comments are agreeing with me. Pretty hard to crash when you don't make enough power to brake traction. I mean, it's a front-wheel drive. If you crash that, you shouldn't be driving. You could crash front-wheel drive, trust me. My, my Honda Civic, my 500-wheel horsepower sleeper Honda Civic, the torque steer is crazy in that. But not the Camry. Ain't no 500 horsepower in there. Million-dollar accident. Like, how does that even happen? H how? How can that happen? Uh, what Was the McLaren driver, like, getting the most obnoxious dome of his life to where he was distracted? He was getting some out-of-this-world interstellar dome? Highly unlikely. In the 570? No. That's 600 LT minimum dome right there. I don't know what he was doing. Also, I mean, wh what did it say? A million dollars car accident? I don't know how much an Aventador SV goes for, but uh, 570, I mean, I'm a buck 50 maybe, and then uh, SV uh, 400 maybe? I mean, I don't know about a million dollars, unless they smack something else, which um, I'm not going to lie. I'm just replaying this clip in post because this goober comes at the end and is just trying to say, send this video to somebody who wants to stroke their... I don't know what he says. I don't care. I got to cut him out of the video because that's not what you guys came to see. Regardless, though, McLaren, what are you doing? You're giving us a bad name. Luckily, I'm getting rid of, rid of mine at the right time. Am I right? Anyways, yeah, let's just let's just move on.
Passenger was locked in. Honda Civic Si, Florida plates. Let's take a look. Gotta love when stock cars are just destroying car meets. Homeboy really thought he did something with that. Like, I've seen more smoke out of a fucking vape from a Subaru owner than I did from this burnout right here. Now, yes, there are some people that uh, you know do like burnouts, and I do too. Right place, right time. But shit like this is what ruins car meets. So we got a clown on him. Like, I'm a car guy. I like burnouts. Don't get me wrong. Right place, right time, brother. Stopping in the middle of the road, leaving a car meet is not the right move. Also, is there a fucking charger pulling out behind him? No, it's a fucking Corvette. Never mind. I thought the wing or the roof, um, I thought it was a front bash bar. So I thought homeboy was cooked. Regardless, though, yeah, I mean, he, he did that shit, though. I ain't going to lie. He did do that shit. Was it the best sounding burnout ever? No. Was it the most exciting burnout ever? No. But what I have watched in person... You betcha. So, just do this, just not at car meets. Unless it's like a private car meet and you guys are allowed to, but that's a different story. Near, nor. Last clip! G35 Coupe loses control and crashes. Oh no! He's not going to be able to make it to the takeover. The fine Latinas aren't going to want his bean. Let's see what he does. I just caught that on film. I just caught that on film. Airbags deployed. Yeah, man, if your car sounds that bad, God himself will take it out. That, like, dude, how do people with ears listen to that while they're fucking driving and think all the hyenas are gonna love this shit, fool? That shit just sounds garbage. I would rather listen to, like, puppies in a garbage disposal than that and and I, my dog just had puppies and that would make me very sad to listen to but that hurt my ears so bad you guys have no idea i'm gonna send this guy a bill for permanent hearing damage here's a challenge for vq owners make your car not sound like dog shit challenge let's make that a viral challenge go ahead and tag me and, and i'll judge your your cars and see how bad they sound but yeah airbags deployed the homeboy destroyed a fence he destroyed his car thank god one less obnoxious g35 driver on the streets i mean that's a win in my book but uh yeah destroying people's property and potentially hurting people not a win so don't try to show off man it's not worth it especially when you don't know how to drive this guy was blown away to catch a car crash on film to be fair i don't think i've ever caught a car crash on film have i no i've caught a car catch on fire not mine not mine but i had a car meet i was talking about but uh yeah i think that's it i don't think i've ever caught a car crash Anyways, don't be an idiot. All right, guys. Hopefully, you did enjoy this video. Sorry. I Like I said, I did have the reveal planned today, but I really want to make sure it's just glossy, smooth, sugar-coated with sprinkles. I want you guys to really enjoy that video. It's a very exciting car. I think you guys are going to really like uh, what we do with it. But anyways, subscribe to see that. Uh, tag me in clips. And until next video, peace. Drive safe, fellas. There's someone waiting for you at home. And if there's not, go buy a cat. And he will be waiting for you at home. Peace.